So we back for part two. So like I was saying, you know, when we come into power, you know, we're gonna be ruling forever. We're gonna be ruling forever because we're gonna be ruling in righteousness. Daniel chapter 7, verse 18 again. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom is being translated from Esau to Jacob. The saints are the Israelites. But the saints of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Even forever and ever. So we're going to be ruling forever. You know, we ain't gonna never come out of power. No other nation will rule once Israel, the Israelites come back into power. And the lady that's next to me selling these Valentine presents, you know. These people in that, that Valentine spirit, man. Things of this world, man, we ought not to love. So I'm gonna bring a few more scriptures out. We, we you know, we're gonna end it off with that. You know, like I said, it's below 15 degrees here. And it might, that was uh, an hour or two ago, you know. As it get later on throughout the day, it get colder, so. End it off real, real soon. But we gotta bring these scriptures out. This is a. Uh, Psalms chapter 7 verse 9 and it reads oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end and who's the wicked Esau Edom the so called white man he's the wicked let the wickedness of the wicked the wickedness of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, come to an end. And it's coming to an end. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is bringing him down. He's bringing the end of his, you know, his uh, his wickedness. He's bringing the end of his wickedness, man. And we seeing it. You know? And it's beautiful to see. It's beautiful to see because that lets you know that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, ain't no God. He wanna be like the most high. And to our to our people that's wicked as hell, they have no understanding to them that he, he's God. Because he paid himself to be like the most high, to be a God to them. But he ain't no God, he have no power. Esau don't have no power, he can't even stop. The C, uh, the C-19. Can't even stop that. Got other nations coming up against him and all type of stuff, man. He can't, he ain't no, he ain't no God. He ain't no power. He had power, the power he have is given from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah to do, do, do to do uh, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah will. You know? The end of wickedness, the end of his wickedness is coming to an end. And it's beautiful to see, man. Psalm 7, Psalms chapter 7, verse 9 again. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just, the Israelites, right? And we being established, man. You know, we coming back into remembrance of who we are. We remember that what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall require of us, you know. And we, 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 we coming back into power. 
you know. And soon, and soon, we will be empowered. We will be ruling the earth and everything else. But let the just, but slack it, but establish the just for the righteous. Uh, so like it, but establish the just for the righteous God trieth the hearts and ruins. And read it from the top again. All oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous God, Yahweh Bashmel Shah, trieth the hearts and the ruins. You know, so Yahweh Bashmel Shah is established. He is, he's, he's establishing the just. He's bringing the wickedness. He's, uh, he's bringing an end to the wickedness of, of the wicked. Esau, Edom. And he's establishing the just. You know, he's, he's, he's using his prophets to uh, introduce, he's using his prophets to introduce this world, this wicked world, to righteousness. You know? To introduce them to the future of righteousness. And that's what's coming up on this earth is righteousness. And this earth will be ruled in righteousness. No more wickedness. America will soon be destroyed. You know, this 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 government will all be brought down by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This is a uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 25, and it reads, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is against this rulership, against this government that's ran through. Yeah, uh, that's ran through Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mind. Yeah, because this, this government destroys the Israelites. It destroys the earth. It destroys everything, man. They, they ways, they wicked ways destroys everything. And they, they wicked ways, the government, wicked ways, Esau Edom, is the mount, mount, a, a mount is, is uh, is represented as a government, you know, and they sit up on top of that mountain. They, they, you know, Esau, even the so-called white man, and they ways causes people to destroy, to be destroyed, because they ways are wickedness, and the wickedness they they ways are, are sin, and the ways of, the wages of sin is what death. So they cause they ways causes people to be destroyed, to receive death, to be put to death. We have to come out the ways of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and come in the ways of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, which is life, which is righteousness. Jeremiah 51, verse 25, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shah, which destroyeth all the earth. Yeah, you destroy all the earth and everything that's in it. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. I will make thee a burnt, listen, a burnt mountain. How's Yahweh Bashem El Shah gonna do that? By the way of those thermonuclear missiles. By the way of those missiles gonna burn this, this, uh, this, this, uh, this rulership of Esau, even the so-called white man. America's gonna be destroyed. This system is gonna be brought down when those nuclear missiles hit this place. You know, this wicked system.
Verse 26. Oh yeah, shalom, on, brother. Y'all yeah, yeah. be good now. Be blessed. Yeah. Jake. Got a little blunt in this ball, but you know. See, you see the prophets. You see the man of the Lord out here preaching his word. You know, there's no excuses. Well, I never seen nobody out there preaching that Bible. You a damn lie. <laughs> you a damn lie. Jeremiah 51, verse 26. And they shall not take up thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate, thou shalt be desolate forever, said the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so this place is gonna be destroyed forever. You know? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man would never come back into power. Never. And no other nation, that's uh, no other nation either, you know. Not Esau, not 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 Ham, not Elam, not not uh, Moab, Ammon, none of them. No, nobody's coming back in, uh, into power. Once we in power, that's it. It's forever and ever, even forever, as the scriptures say. Esau, time is running out, buddy. You know, and as we just read in uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 20, uh, 25, that, that, uh, that destroying mountain, that destroyeth all of the earth, you know, Esau, you gonna be destroyed, man, for destroying every the earth and destroying everything in it. The Israelites, you know, the, and, the, and the rest of the other people, and, and uh, the creation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is a uh, revelations. So lock it. Phone that froze up on me. I hope it ain't go dead on me. It might have went dead. Dang nabbit. Well, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, I'm gonna pause this this video, and I'm gonna finish it in the car so I can grab it off the phone. As you see the screen, the phone went dead. Well, we're gonna finish this in the vehicle, in the chariot. I'm gonna put this on pause for a second. So yeah, the phone, you know, it's going dead. It's on 2%. So I'm just gonna finish this scripture out and then, you know, pull the scriptures up on the screen. It's Revelation 11, verse 18. And it reads, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they shall be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Who is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man? You know, you destroy the earth, man. You know, and this is why you're gonna be destroyed by the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because of your wickedness, man. You rule in wickedness. You the wicked. You can't rule in righteousness. You know, and if you was never, if you was to never come out of power, out of out of that power seat. You would destroy everything, man. You would destroy your damn self.
But Yahweh Bashem is gonna destroy them that destroy the earth. Who who who's empowered to, you know, to de to destroy everything? Esau, Edom, so-called white man. You destroy the uh, the air. You pollute the air. You pollute the food. You pollute the water. You 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 uh, uh you destroy the earth. You know you you destroy the trees. You destroy the animals. You destroy the people. You know. So, something got to be done. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to destroy you. That's what's going to be done. I think I think I could bring some more scriptures out. Until this go dead, I'm just going to, you know, bring some more scriptures out. Let's get, uh, uh, Bear with me. You know, so these is these, you know, beautiful times that we in Israel. This is what we want to see, the downfall of our enemy. Them them that uh oppresses us, man. Esau Edom, he oppressed the children of uh Israel, man, the, uh, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 3, and it reads, An unwise king destroyeth his people and you are unwise king Esau you unwise you destroying the earth you destroying the people you know you kind of depopulized uh, the damn earth man you know you, you just wicked as hell man you are unwise king you unfit for rulership man this is why Yahweh Bashem is going to destroy your ass he's going to take you out that power seat uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 3 an unwise king destroyeth his people cut this uh, heat down yeah. an unwise king destroyeth his people but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabit the power verse 4 the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable so the, you know the uh, the power of the earth for some uh, for for people to rule the earth is in the hands of the Lord you know, it's in the hands of Yahweh Shah. Because all power and authority was given to Yahweh Shah. You know. And in due time, you know, he's gonna set one. He gonna he's gonna set one uh over the earth to, to rule the earth. One that's profitable. And 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 that's the Israelites, you know. Because we're going to rule the earth in righteousness when everything is going to flourish and, and, and be at peace. You know? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's not profitable to rule this uh, earth, man. Hell, look at Joe Biden, man. The, the, the dude, is, they got, you know, America king. His, they king is, you know, as is, is, is wacky as all hell, man. Dude don't know how to speak. You know, the dude be saying stupid shit. I think he got all timers, man. The dude be forgetting stuff, man. And uh, that like that debate him and Trump had when they was running for president. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Trump said, uh, he said something. Biden said something. And, uh, and Trump said, don't. He said, did you use the word smart with me? <laughs> he said, "Don't you ever use the word smart with me." He said, <laughs> "He said you can't even remember uh, what college you uh, graduated from." 
you know, and, and, and Biden is just a stupid, stupid dude, man. He, he's and he represent America very, 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 very well. You know, falling up the stairs. How you fall up the stairs, man? You going up the stairs and you falling up the stairs. <laughs> Supposed to be falling down the stairs, but that's that symbolizes America. You know, as uh, that video showing Biden going up them stairs in that in that plane, he, he falling up the stairs. But that just symbolizes America. Just is just it reached its height and it's falling down, man. It's coming down. All that's coming to an end. You to reach, you to reach the heights. You know. You to reach that that you know, you to reach it, man. You to reach that level, and now it's time to bring your ass down. You know, and we seeing you fall. We seeing America fall. You know, and you damn Edomites are uh, crying and whining. We sorry, no, 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 no. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to be. We don't want to hear that. You know, it's too late for all that. You done did all that wickedness to us, man. You done did all that wickedness, man. And from slavery to now, man, it's over with, man. We don't want to hear none of your sorry, none of that, man. You gonna pay for everything that you did, man. Period, point blank. So yeah, yeah, Howard Shah's gonna, you know, you know, he's gonna set up, uh, he gonna set us up, man, to rule the earth, man. You know, under him, man. You know, and his kingdom. I'm gonna be joint heirs with him. Yeah, how will William be a part of that elect number? You know, and all Israel are gonna be saved. All Israel are gonna be good. You know, it's gonna be order, man. It's gonna be levels, man, to this thing, man. You know, but it's just, just I'm just, just visualizing, like, man, it's gonna be beautiful, man. We gonna, even, it's gonna be better than what it's gonna be. You can't even. It's not even a word to. Say how how glorious it's gonna be, you know, how beautiful it's gonna be. We can only visualize, you know, how how far our mind visualize things, man. But it's gonna it's gonna surpass what our mind visualize, you know. It's gonna it's gonna outdo what what we see, man, in our in our mind, you know. So so you know. You not profitable, Esau. You destroying everything, man. You destroying the ocean, the waters. You know you got you got the uh, this damn devil got the uh, the animals the, in the in the sea beaching themselves, committing suicide. All them whales and dolphins, and fishes washing up at the uh, at the beach. They they jumping out that water to jump on land to get out that polluted water. This damn devil doing all these oil spills, all that garbage in the water. Then you taking out the the, the the animals that 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 cleanse the earth. I mean that that help cleanse the ocean. You taking them out and you eating them. The damn shrimp, crab, lobster. You taking everything out that's 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 meant to be in the waters to help uh, keep the water cleansed for the for the fishes. You taking them out and you eating them. And you 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 making it to be like it's luxury food when you ain't supposed to be eating those things, man. So everything is backwards, man. You, this damn devil is messing up the ecosystem. Like you need to be taken out of rulership, dude. You're not fit. You're not a you're not a wise king. You wise in wickedness, man. But you're not wise in righteousness. You and and, and that's real. That's that's real. Uh, that's real wisdom, man. To 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 have uh, wisdom in righteousness, man. Not wickedness. That ain't real wisdom. You don't have no wisdom, Esau. You wise in, in, in wickedness. You're not wise in righteousness, man. You don't know how to to uh, run the earth, man. You don't know how to, you don't know how to rule. You're an unfit king, and you need to be dealt with, and you're going to be dealt with by the heavenly Father. So we seeing the transfer of power, man. Your power, you 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 losing your power, Esau. And we coming up into power. 